watching Studio 9. Good evening and welcome to Studio 9. I'm your host, Patricia Maese. This week, we're bringing the show to the Cincinnati Entertainment District, one of the hot spots for the city's nightlife. And on any given night, the bars and clubs along Cincinnati Street in West El Paso are buzzing. In the last couple of years, new ones have popped up, and the outside area has gotten a facelift. An arch highlights the iconic Kern Place neighborhood. Hanging lights and patios now line the street. It's become the center of this entertainment district, and it's giving life to other bars and restaurants in the area. If you haven't heard of it, you've probably been living in a closet. I'm talking about the lost and found. I'm here with the general manager, Philip Pedregon. I mean, I was at the hair salon getting my hair done the other day, and everybody was talking about this place. The place to be. Tell me why. Why all the buzz about it? Um, well, that's good to know, first of all. Uh, but, um, yeah. I, um, I, I think the reason why everyone's talking about us right now is because nobody's really ever experienced anything like this in El Paso. Everybody's been dying for a place like this to go to. Um, we put a lot of detail into everything um, from our glassware, the bar, the patios. We have two patios um, all the way up to even our restroom. We put a lot of detail into as well. So um, it's super unique, um, it's aesthetically pleasing also. And so it just makes you smile when you walk in. Everything is location and of course the vibe. You walk in here and it's a different type of feel. Talk about what you were going for when you guys were designing the place. Um, well, we, we definitely wanted somewhere where you could actually go for happy hour mm -hmm. at 5 o'clock in the afternoon and then come back on a Saturday night, get bottle service, you know, and celebrate a birthday party or something like that. So um, that's basically what we were going for. We wanted to provide an experience that was good for both of those occasions. And so I think we did a really good job at that, uh, as well as, you know, El Paso has such good weather. Um, the two patios are here, so once we have consistently good weather, we'll be able to capitalize on that as well, and everybody will be able to enjoy that also. You do have a lot of patio space. You said you were going for like a vintage Miami feel or vintage Palm Springs. It is absolutely visually pleasing when you walk in. The green, the pink, even the detail in the bathroom. Talk about that, because I walked in there and it was just like you walked in a tree house, a living tree house. Yeah, well, there is a living tree inside that yeah. restroom. A lot of people walk in there and they think it's fake, but it's definitely a, a living tree. It's huge. Um, we basically built that restroom around that tree. So that's part of the detail that I was just talking to you about. But uh, we literally built that restroom around that tree. Uh, when you walk into the front patio, the palm trees blow you away. Everything out there blows you away. And you just kind of want to experience the whole place. So you don't want to just come and go. You want to actually come to the front patio, grab a drink there, go to the back patio, meet your friends. Uh, if you're a woman, also go to the women's restroom yeah. and check out that tree. Um, but yeah, overall, that's the look we were going for is definitely vintage Miami, vintage Palm Springs. It is stunning. Now, what are your happening nights? Somebody wants to come check it out. When should they be here and at what time? So we open Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock. Okay. Um, happy hour pretty much every day is going to be busy. Mm -hmm. um, some days are busier than others. And then on the weekends, we open at noon. So we open a little bit earlier for that day drinking crowd as well or day party crowd as well. Um, we're open till 2 every night. We are open every single day. But um, it just depends what you want. Like, like I said, you can come out with your office on Friday afternoon mm -hmm. at 5 o'clock. Or you can come back at, you know, midnight and have a great experience. Like, either way, it's going to be a good time. And you have DJs as well, so it kind of goes from a lounge bar feel around that afternoon hour, getting off work and at night. You hear that music, the fun, the high energy, mm -hmm. um, especially on the weekends. Yeah, I was mentioning to you earlier, we definitely d play different music uh -huh. here also. Um, so we do go for at night with our DJs. As you see the disco ball there, we go for a little bit more of like a disco-y, dancey feel at night. Um, during the week at happy hour, we actually have our playlist that we usually use. So you'll hear every, everything from like John Mayer to Credence Clearwater Revival to, you know, classic rock, new stuff, things like that. But definitely things that you wouldn't normally expect to be hearing. But Friday, Saturday, we do have the DJs. They start at 10 o'clock at night. Well, that's awesome. It's a super cool place. If you haven't been here, you need to check it out. You have an Instagram page. We're going to have that on our website. Go to KTSM.com. It'll all be on the Studio 9 page.
up on